I'm Paul Husinga for Power Auto Media. I'm here in the Classic Industries booth, and it's my distinct pleasure to talk to Bodie Stroud. Bodie, talk to me a little bit about this 57 that you put together with these guys. Um, it's, a, it's a 57 Chevy Bel Air. Uh, we built it uh, in uh, record time. I think we built it in like six months, and uh, we got it here on its way out at the Magnaflow booth. It's uh, got a 509 big block Chevy in it with uh, Kinsler uh, stacked injection putting out about a little over 800 horsepower. Um, once again, Classic Industries helped me tremendously with the build, all their parts. They got their whole new 57 Chevy line. Uh, you know, we did Tim Allen Camaro last year and they helped us out with that. So it's kind of like family, you know, we've, uh, we got this 57 Chevy built and uh, I knew exactly who to turn to when I needed help. Now the Tri-5 Chevy is such a classic and it's been done so many times. How do you find something fresh, something original, something really interesting to do with it? You know, that's that's a really good question because that, that is a tough car because it, it has. It's been done over and over. But uh, I feel the changes that we gave it. You know, I have my own style. Uh, I do some pretty radical changes, but I make them very subtle. We shaved off the bullets on the hood, so I handmade the whole hood. Uh, that was tricky. We had to do it in a short amount of time too, so that, that made it even tougher. Uh, we shaved the emblems off the trunk and a lot of other little emblems around it. Uh, so I gave it my own stance. It's got a, a factory chassis under it and it's got all my own new bolt-on suspension that we're coming out with. I'm coming out with a line of suspension, so I'm happy about that too. Uh, you know, the inner fenders in the engine bay, the way we cleaned it up, we made some cool inner fenders for it and uh, kind of blends right in. Because you used to be able to, when you open the hood, you'd look down past the inner fender and you'd see the ground. Well, now you don't see it. It's all closed off really nice, real tastefully. So, Now, I got to ask you, this is one of those questions like, you know, do you put your pants on one leg at a time like the rest of us? Do you pick up that Classic Industries catalog and just flip through it and say, oh, that's kind of cool. I need to get this. I need to get that. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not a real computer guy, and when I look online on computers and stuff, I get frustrated, so I'm always referring to the catalog. Uh, I love the catalog, I love hard copy, uh, and I do. I, I love sitting there at night just flipping through it, and like I said, as soon as we got the 57 Chevy job, uh, you know, I had to use Classic. It was just meant to be because we did the Camaro last year, and they came out with, it was funny because I was talking to them last year about their 57 line coming out. So it's, it's weird how sometimes you talk about that thing and then all of a sudden you're doing it, you know? So that's what we did and it's a great marriage once again. Well, whatever kind of muscle car or classic you're working on, look to Classic Industries for inspiration. That's ClassicIndustries.com.